Hello everyone, today we're gonna do this floating object using bullet solver and new flip solver in sub level in Houdini 19.5. Hi again, my name is Dyson. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna use this effect in sub level. That's the challenge. Unfortunately, as you may know, we don't have any option to share data between solver in sub level. As Dr. Strange said, I tried many possible way, but one of them worked. Okay, let's go. As you can see, we're gonna use this model and I use this simple model to simplify this idea and we have this grid and this tube or cylinder and i'm copying that and we have this box okay let's go to bullet solver okay let's isolate this box here nice we're gonna use this box to have a dynamic movement let's have a pieces on it let's create rbd material fracture okay let's set up this little quick and okay now let's create bullet solver bullet solver okay let's connect these guys together nice and let's play and see what we have okay obviously we need ground plane on collision tab okay constraint is so strong here let's crank this down let's go to constraint and bring this down and let's play okay now we have this dynamic now we're gonna create static object for these guys here okay let's connect this to collision input and let's play okay before that we're gonna use point velocity to have a simple explosion effect and let's have uh, some noises here okay we need more let's enable that yeah let's crank this up okay maybe two nice okay we have this simulation with this collider okay let's replace this default ground plane with ocean evaluate here okay now let's create a grid a grid okay and let's decide that and now ocean spectrum cool obviously we need more resolution on the grid let's change that and let's bring the grid scale on the ocean evaluate here and as you can see the speed is too high let's bring time scale down and maybe that's cool okay that's cool for now now let's merge this collider with ocean evaluate here okay let's turn this default ground plane off and this grid on the viewport let's play and see what we have here okay as you can see the ocean is not moving let's change the collision type to deforming nice but the collision have issue as you can see let's change the collision shape to concave or concave okay that's work fine nice now let's have more fraction to stick these pieces to the ocean okay that's good for now we're gonna change that later on let's have more pieces maybe okay that's good let's play and see what we have here yeah that's not bad okay as you may notice in this approach the bullet server will take care of the floating part of this effect okay now let's change the collision padding and see what we have here yeah that's not bad let's have maybe different look of these fracture pieces okay let's bring this 
up and change the noise type maybe okay that's good for now and now let's have a rbd configure for more convenient way and creating necessary attribute for the bullet solver okay that's nice let's maybe change the fraction bring this down to have more sliding movement yeah that's that's better let's have a more fraction that's so cool so we're gonna use this and let's set up our flip solver okay before we move on if you enjoyed this one please do not forget to like or subscribe for more content and support our channel that's mean a lot for me okay let's go let's create first let's create flip container here okay and let's template this ocean and let's resize that okay now let's create flip collider nice and let's connect these guys together okay the fourth input will go to bullet solver nice now let's create Philip Solver. Philip Solver, where are you? Okay, there you go, that's Philip Solver. Okay, let's connect these guys together. And let's play and see what we have. Okay, the pieces is here. Now we need to tweak the ocean evaluate here. Let's go to volume, enable SDF and velocity and bring this up and now the fourth input will go to ocean evaluate okay that's cool now let's play and see what we have here okay now let's change that to splashy here okay and bring this velocity scale up and let's have a merge to merge these guys together to see the simulation clearly okay and let's change that to velocity okay let's play and see what we have here okay the ocean sorry the flip need to be up a little bit okay as you can see we're gonna tweak or trick this effect and let's have a transform here and bring this up okay now let's yeah bring this up a little bit okay let's increase the particle separation and let's have a flip book to it okay the flip book is done and that's the floating effect as you can see and that's awesome in my opinion so that's for more resolution okay guys that's the floating object or merging solver in sub level for example if you have a river and if you want some pieces to floating on this river that will do the trick okay i guess that's it see you on the next video bye